Electra trying to 2v1. We got Hayes coming on in hot. And we also have a Rain coming on in. Should be able to swift strike through this stun though from Flyest Raven. Rain not make it in in time and say goodbye to Rain. Feeding on that Genji coming on in well after Electra is gone and trying to 2v2. But we also had McNulty come on in just to ensure they get control of that. Coven versus Swoop. We have Bay State holding it down in the meantime. I like that they're not really trying to push this up because it's it's very dangerous. Flyus Raven looking for potentially a target. Coming on in for Swoop. Does get the pull. Does get this done. McNulty coming on in hot. And then knockback. And they will get Swoop. They come on in like Hawks. Pick off their target and just execute them. Gonna successfully 1v1 and get the kill on Proven. Uh, kills all over the place. Action across the board here on Team this evening. Base State coming on in. We'll get Flyest Raven, who is knocked on out, has barely any life, will be going on down. And Electro trying to pick up another one, but they'll have to be satisfied with only the kill on Flyest Raven. Possible here to make the next turn in that, that much more beneficial. It also makes it much harder for Luxurian Sun to fight. Uh, the overpower and the knockback. We got the storm coming on out from Flyus Raven. Lightning breath protected, by the way, because Lux Rain are not going down. And they are getting themselves a one and now two kills. And FWC Esports is going to lose a lot of value and now with three members dead. Bay State picking up a rep. He will be able to get on out with his illusions. And that is going to be all they get. In the meantime, oh my god, Crovin. As calculated as you can get. Swoop is going to be getting out of there. And Hayes is going to pick it up with the Frisbee. But now they're coming on in. Flux and Rain trying to interrupt the rotation. Hayes is staying alive as long as possible. The stun coming on out. And we got the Ghost of Uther. But the Purification Salvo coming on out as a response. But it will not be good enough. So go. Quest completed. As well for McNulty. Which means significantly more stuns. And piercing the knockback onto base day. He does have the shadow charge. He's trying to get on out, but there comes the rip tire. The X strike. Cray Crovin manages to survive the swift strike, getting on through, doing so much to Crovin. But the heal and the tap is going to keep him alive despite Rain trying to execute him. Wait, Rain trying to execute him. So front wall down, a nice cleanse. We get the port from Swoop and he'll be able to get on out rain, taking a lot of damage and base day coming on in to ensure he can survive. But now he's going to get poked on down, stunned in place, lightning breath being used as an unstoppable to try and escape, realizing the situation at hand. But unfortunately for base day, it gives him the extra time to start putting in the DPS. Purification salvo, but it's only going to hit Muradin with the lightning breath being burnt as well. But Flyest Raven, they're trying to execute him, and the Ancestral connects just in time. Extra coming on out. Flyest Raven is super low, and this is a fight really far back. We got Raiden looking for Krovin, and they have taken out two members. Base State, Krovin, Rain. Three for one. Reb trying to finish off Hayes here. And he's trying to get on out. And he will successfully do so. Flyest Raven's going to be going down here. But they trade out one for one at the moment. Bay State knocking McNulty away for now. And he taps in his nearly full life. Crovin has nowhere to go except over the wall. And Hayes and Rain are going to finish him off very shortly here. So... A play that you wouldn't actually expect to work out in Luxurian Sun's favor has worked out 